Hi, it's Paul Kalodzik with Metabolic MD. So some of you know me, know my background is as an emergency physician. In fact, that's why I began to get motivated related to metabolic health after seeing all the problems associated with poor metabolic health. One of those issues that we've seen over the course of the last 20 years is an increase in fatty liver disease. Now, 20 years when we started doing CT scans for abdominal pain in the emergency department, we rarely saw fatty liver disease. However, in recent years, it's become increasingly prevalent. This is usually an incidental finding on the CAT scan, not the reason for the patient's abdominal pain, but there's really been a significant change over the years in the amount of fatty liver disease. How do you get fatty liver disease? Well, it's related to an increase in blood glucose. So along with diabetes or prediabetes, that extra glucose goes to the liver and it gets changed into fat. So that fat often gets stored in the visceral abdominal area, but some of it stays right in the liver. And as it stays right in the liver, it causes inflammation. In fact, the technical term is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. So not related to alcohol use, steato means fat, hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. Now we've had a few patients with this problem in our practice and they come in and they have some high liver enzymes, usually a BMI over 30, sometimes over 35. But then as we help them bring their weight down, those liver enzymes come down and their fatty liver disease begins to resolve. So generally, if you can lose seven to 10% of your weight, you can begin to resolve that fatty liver disease. And to start with, people with a BMI between 30 or 35, between 30 and 35, have about a fourfold chance higher risk of getting fat or liver, fatty liver disease. And those with a BMI more than 35 have a ninefold chance of getting fatty liver disease. Just as an aside, I also have a friend who's an anesthesiologist up at the Cleveland Clinic and does a lot of transplants, focuses on liver transplants, and they are now doing a significant number of liver transplants related to fatty liver disease, this non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. He didn't see that 10 years ago either. So the good news is that if you can bring your weight down if you have fatty liver disease, you can completely resolve that fatty liver disease. So we've done a blog that's on the website with a little bit more information on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and refer you there. But just be aware that with increased blood glucose, you're also at risk as you gain weight of fatty liver disease. But again, the good news, it's reversible with diet and improved metabolic health.